you should have no fear when it comes to achieving your someday. Fear is kind of a mindset to you. Is just a barrier in order to try to prevent you achieving your dreams because that's obviously going to happen. No matter what you do, no matter how many great things you accomplish, there's always going to be some kind of new challenge, especially as you grow and you develop. If you are going to be repetitive and do the same thing over again, you're going to come across the same challenges. But as you grow and try unique different things to help you grow and develop as a person, you're going to come across different issues to challenge you to help you grow. Fear comes into different forms. It comes to different shapes. It will always change. It's always going to come. It's normal to be fearful of different things when you are trying something new, something that you're not used to. It's okay to have that fear. What's not okay is to have that fear impact you in a negative way. What fear can do is lead to other negative avenues in your life. Fear leads to hate. It leads to anger. And eventually, it leads you to a deeper dark side. You should be using that fear as a tool to motivate you, not to impact you in a negative way. Everyone has that fear. It's what you do with that fear is going to help you grow. You can't use that fear to put you down. You need to use that fear in a positive way to challenge yourself mentally to switch up that fear into something that works out in your favor. You shouldn't show that fear bothers you. Again, fear comes into different forms that will come to you. Sometimes you just need to ignore that fear. Sometimes you just need to ignore that vessel of fear that is trying to prevent you in achieving your goals. You should show fear that it doesn't bother you, that you have a strong armor around you, that anything fearful that comes your way is just reflected off the armor that you're wearing. That fear can cause you negative harms in your body. Every time one gets fearful of something mentally, it will cause certain reactions to the body, whether it's sweating or just something different reactions physically, maybe causing you to start biting your nails. Just little small things like that will start impacting your body in a negative way to kind of steer you into the direction that the fear wants you to go to. One thing I could recommend to help you overcoming those challenges that those vessels of fear that come your way is to be your own hype person. If you see that fear coming, hype yourself to it. Hype yourself to prepare for that challenge that will come your way because you know that you can overcome those challenges. You should look at fear as just another small battle for you to help prepare you to grow to those bigger things as you grow as a person, as you become more successful in life. So you may come across those repetitive challenges as you grow and you can overcome those challenges quicker to the point that they will stop happening. So fear is just that state of mind that kind of prepares us to what the outcome might be. What's important to know is that you knew that was going to happen, that you knew that fear was going to happen, that you knew that anxiety might happen as well. What you also should know is that you can overcome those things. That's what you have that confidence in you. You can't prevent fear. Fear, I mentioned fear is always going to come. And I go back to just being confident in yourself, in your craft, and whatever you do, anything that comes your way, it's yes, it's okay to be fearful of what different things that might challenges that might come your way. But that confidence in you is that suit of armor that is preventing that fear to bother you and that you can overcome it and do whatever you want to do.